That's kind of f***ed up when a dragon is giving me less trouble than an assassin. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. <laughs> Talk sh get hit. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Das Big Hippo, and today we're going to be continuing our adventure in Elden Ring. Uh, last time we we killed the evil dark enemy that looked like Blyde, and today we're going to continue Ronnie's quest line and head to. This tower right here. Uh, this tower is blocked off until you do more in Ronnie's quest. So we wouldn't have actually been able to get into it, I don't believe. I, mean, I could be remembering wrong. I didn't actually go check it this playthrough. But yeah. Um, it's, it's blocked off until you get further into the quest. And so now let's go ahead and head over this way and see what we got. Yo, that view though. Where are we going, Zul? Oh shit, that's right, that just takes us up here. So yeah, you can get up here two different ways. You can follow it through the way we came initially, or you can follow Randy's quest line, and it'll take you up here. Now that I've shown that, we're heading to hell. I've made that joke multiple times, but this is the worst area in the entire game. Uh, Scarlet Rot Buildup. Okay, I'm, I need some of that. Alright, so this area... Uh, as you can probably guess, all of that builds up Scarlet Rot. Oh, hell yeah! And you know, you might you might be thinking it's not too bad. Just get on your horse and ride. Your horse cannot be ridden down here. Um, our goal is over there. There's also a boss fight over there, somewhere. And there are multiple items scattered throughout this area that I will not be going to get because fuck that. Okay, you know, I might get that one since it's right there. What is it? Rot grease. Uh, there's also basilisks hiding in the AIDS water here. Perfect timing on that one. So, I don't think it's possible to get through here without getting rotted at least once. It's just the price you have to pay for living in Miyazaki's world. Alright, so that raises that. It's like I could put on some uh, Scarlet Rot resistance, but all that's going to do is make it take a little bit longer and honestly, I don't really think it's worth it. Uh, that over there is the boss fight. It's another one of those big dragon guys that we fought before. Okay, asshole. Uh, we can go fight him in a little bit. Ascend! Uh, I feel like I definitely missed something important. Because you can raise the area around him. Uh, is it that over there? God, fuck. The devs weren't complete assholes. You can make it so you don't have to fight him in the rot. 
Um, you know, it would be very rude of them to make it so you have to fight in the rot. Cause look how fast that shit takes. <gasps> now we have these four little areas. That's all we get to fight him. I know I said that they'd be rude to make you have to fight him in the rot, but they really don't give you a whole lot of area. Um, luckily, since we have fought his kind before, we kind of know what we're getting into. Um, unfortunately though, I'm terrible at fighting these guys. And I'm probably going to eat shit. He also splashes the rod. Kind of fucking rude. Who does that? That was a way too early of a roll. And yep, there we go. You may have noticed he hits like an absolute fucking truck. Wait a minute, it made the sound that I hit him, but he didn't take any health damage. The fuck is that? Hey, fuck you, game. Be an asshole. I say as I'm just spamming wild strikes. I'm the asshole. Great big puckered ass. Ow, fuck. Wait. Oh wow, that didn't actually hit me. Oh, alright. Yay! We whooped his ass. Ignore the fact that we died once. His ass was killed. I promise. He didn't cause us any harm. Uh, might as well grab these items. There, you know, right here. Yeah, there's still quite a bit in this area that we haven't explored. Um, we were up here, and then we kind of made a straight line, and then we went off to the side. As you can see, there is a lot of this area we haven't touched. We're not going to because fuck this place. I don't feel like playing in the rot. Now we ascend. Now, up here, I don't really think there's anything major. Uh, we got one of these Onyx Lords. But in terms of items, I don't really think there's anything spectacular going on up in this area. Oh, he's an Alabaster Lord. He's not an Onyx Lord. Don't get it twisted. Oh, you know what? Somber Smithing Stone 9 is really good, actually. Level, wabam. And we are extremely close to a second one, so let's go and pop some pocket change. Fuck, that one wasn't as big as I thought it was. Damn. And this one's too big now. I guess not.
Actually, that's that's fine. Alright, so we got our HP to 40. We could always go for some more stamina. That could be useful. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the stamina up to 30. Grand Cloister. Uh, this place... This place isn't very nice either. Uh, as you can see, there are shrimps. And the shrimp people... Fucking assholes. There's not a shrimp over here. Being a dick. Standing in the rot. Hey! Get your ass over here, boy. Ah! Gotcha, bitch. I didn't hit him right there. What killed him? Was he rotted? Alright, so over there, there's two items. But more importantly... Ah, fuck. Okay. I didn't go close enough. Yep, there we go. One of these guys. These guys give golden seeds. too cocky with my wild strikes. Ain't that the story of this playthrough. <laughs> oh shit, that didn't kill him. Oh shit, that didn't hit him. <laughs> there we go. Oh, nice. He gives us some souls and a golden seed. I do not remember what's over here. We, we gotta try it. I mean, we got one more of these. Uh, smithing stone seven, that's actually pretty good. And a smithing stone six. Yeah, 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 I'll take it. Pretty sure I'm actually on to needing sixes for my great stars. So, we got all these shrimps. And they go up that staircase there. Up that staircase is a dagger that gives rot. Or that has rot built in. Uh, I don't care about that dagger. Nor do I care about the shrimps. Fuck, what are those items on the staircase, though? Ah, shit. Right, so here's the plan. Right, there's the, uh, the exit. We're gonna go sneaky-breaky-like. We're gonna grab these items, and we're gonna break out. Y'all ain't see shit, fuck you. Ah, oh, fuck, they spotted me. Ah, oh, they're shooting me! Realistically, we almost got those items without being saw- without being seen. That's pretty impressive. Is that a boss fight I see? So now we go down here. 
And we have one of the cooler looking bosses in this game. Like, look at this shit. This is so cool. This guy's an asshole. <laughs> now that tail got some range on it, boys and girls. God damn. I used to have the timing down on when to dodge that, but I'm... Well, obviously I have forgotten the timing. I also had the timing down on when to dodge that, and I forgot. Oh! So, this boss has uh, an attack. Well, for one, it has a meteor shower. But it has an attack where it will just kind of teleport behind you and do a big-ass grab. And that shit hurts. So every time he teleports, I'm kind of scared. This one is also a grab. So honestly, wild strikes on this guy doesn't seem to be the most useful. But damn it. If I'm not dedicated to my craft. And I'm not sure how to avoid taking damage from that attack. Alright, so is this one. There it is! Fuck! Oh, that's a lot of damage! And then he teleports away again. Like, holy shit, dude. You're a fucking asshole. Alright, so we're probably not going to kill him on our first try here. Getting reacquainted to the fight. Ow. Like, I don't really know what to do against that attack, honestly. Ow. Hell yeah, and I think I gotta dodge again. I'm out of- I'm out of mana. Fuck. I don't think I've ever seen him do that. Just thinking, and I'm surprised he hasn't been knocked down yet. Wow. Alright, so, I did not expect to get him on the first try. But we did, so that's pretty cool. Uh, shit, which way did we come from? Uh, I think we came from that way. So, we gotta go this way. So you can come down here and fight him whenever you want. Uh, once you get to the Scarlet Rot Zone and all that. But there will be a barrier here that mentions something along the lines of it blocked by proof of oath or some shit. I don't know. It's it's some cryptic. Uh, what we need to get through there is this ring. Princess Ronnie's Cold Oath. 
And then we can take that, and we can go up. Yeah. So now, we are up here, on the upper part of this area. You know, down there was the village of old people that we had to kill. But we are up here now, on the upper portion. And up here, there really isn't a whole lot, honestly. Um, I think there's two or three ruins. Uh, I think there's a tower and a boss fight. Let me, let me double check on my map real quick. Alright, so looking at the map, there are two ruins, boss fight, and an Everjail, and a tower. Um, so... As you can see, the ruins are kind of laid out on the map here. Down here is the tower, which if I remember correctly, this tower is bugged. Like, bugged to shit. That raises our mana, as you can probably guess, because it's the Cerulean thing. But it's the plus two version, and that means it's pretty strong. I don't know exactly how much it raises it. I'm sure we could find that one out by equipping it, but I don't really care. This mirror is my helmet shinier than it was in previous episodes. I don't know what just died. I don't know how it died. But damn it, he was done with life. I don't really care about the towers a whole lot. I'm not doing casting. And if I do, I'm not going to do a whole lot of it. So I don't need a whole hell of a lot of... There's more... So Who keeps killing themselves? Jesus Christ, guys. The world sucks, but... Just stop! Suicide is never the answer. I don't think I've ever seen that attack. So this is one of those fights that's probably not going to be very good for me due to how slow my build is. But we are not bitching out. There is no bitch in my heart. Holy fuck. Is the bitch healing? Or is that just how little damage I've actually done? So let's get our uh, our souls. Now let's go see if we can go level up our weapon. For how fast that bitch is, that bitch also durable as fuck. Well, I took you no matter it's lay out your arms. Fuck. Okay. You think I'll remember that now? Alright, so what we'll, we'll do, we'll, we'll come back to that. After I get, you know, one or two more weapon upgrades, just to try to make it go by a little bit faster. If I was... If I wasn't recording, I'd probably just sit and bash my head against it for a while. But damn, that bitch was taking no damage. Man, you got some rude-ass motherfuckers with your traps and shit. Not the cool kind of trap. Fucking Astolfo up in this bitch. You know, any dude that sees Astolfo and says they're not at least a little gay. That's a liar right there. That's a liar.
Yeah, so this game has an interesting uh, crafting issue, in my opinion. The special upgraded weapons that use the somber smithing stones are so much easier to level up than the regular smithing stone weapons. You need so many goddamn smithing stones to upgrade your weapon, unless it's a somber smithing stone weapon. At which point you need one of each, if I remember correctly. Like, goddamn, how the hell you gonna do one of each? And then for regular weapons, you need like 12 of each? It's fucked up. Alright, so here's that dragon that ran away earlier outside of Rani's tower. Uh, they're back in full health, which fucking sucks. But. Did you really expect them not to be full health after they ran? I mean, really. This is a FromSoft game. It's nothing but cock and ball torture here. Oh my. And we kindly say thank you, may I have another. That's just the way of the FromSoft. At least modern day FromSoft. Old day FromSoft, maybe there was a bit of a hand holding Instead of cock and ball torture, it's sensual ball rubbing. That dragon has a sword. Pretty cool guy. When's the last time you saw a dragon with a sword? Oh wow, that actually only hit me the one time. That's surprising. Usually if you get caught in the fire, you get hit multiple times. I'm not complaining. Alright, you want to kill my horse? That's fine. My horse can be brought back. I cannot. Well, you know, just because I said my horse can be brought back doesn't mean I want to continuously bring him back, alright? Asshole. The fuck are you doing? Oh, shit. I don't think that one actually killed the horse. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Don't you fucking fly. Asshole. What the fuck was that? I don't think I've ever been hit by that. Oh, I guess he does kind of like move his head and I potentially bite down at the end of that. kind of fucked up when a dragon is giving me less trouble than an assassin. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> Talk shit, get hit. Oh, hell yeah. Blood proc and knocked him down? I wish I could wild strikes on horseback. Can you imagine how fucked up that would be? Okay, hold the fuck. Get down. Hey. I mean, if you're just gonna keep stomping while I 
punch you in the head. Feel free. I don't think I've ever seen him just kind of swing. Really, you're gonna despawn right as you're almost dead? Okay. Thank fuck their health doesn't respawn or else I would be so mad. I don't actually remember what these starlight shards do. Uh, I think they have to do something with mana. I don't know. I'll look after I pick them up. Yep. Gradually restore FP. God damn it. Yay! Alright, how close are we to another level up actually? Very. So now that endurance has gotten to 30. Let's go ahead and pump arcane a little bit more. Do do do. Now we go down into the hole. Wow. Oh, shit, I didn't realize that drop was so small. Do 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 Skibbity beep beep boop ba da ba da 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 So here we have some dead fingers. Uh that Ronnie kind of murdered. And now we give her the ring. There's the moon, uh, dark moon greatsword, but it's literally the moonlight greatsword. Which, fun fact, that has been around in FromSoft games for pretty much ever. Uh, I mean, it dates all the way back to at least the Kingsfield games. Uh, also fun fact, the Kingsfield games also make mention of Seat the Scaleless. So, that's pretty cool. And now we're done over here. Until we come back for her. Uh, and now let's head back over to Ronnie's Rise. Because there's a bit of a optional thing to do here. I 
Malibu's sweetheart. No matter what might happen, Ronnie, she needs me. So Blight is an absolute mad lad now, and needs to be put down like the rabid dog he is. Sorry, blood. And now we get his stuff. Yeah. You know, it had to be done though. He was he was a threat to national security. I've never used his weapon, so I don't know if it's any good. Uh, it looks cool as shit though. You know, very ornamental greatsword. So yeah, I don't I don't know if it's any cool. Never used it. Looks cool though. He also gives up gives us his armor, which I mean, hell, might as well equip it. Shit's cool too. And it gives us more poise than what we currently had. When in doubt, the gloves are the ones that need to be the light, because they're the least noticeable part in your fashion. There was one other thing that I wanted to do before I call it a video, but I'm not entirely sure what it was. That's right. Let's go take a look at what uh, we can get from that guy's soul. Shall we? Motherfucker. Alright, so we can get the Bastard Stars, which is a flail that scales off of intelligence. Which I believe it's the only flail in the game that does that. And Waves of Darkness, which is the, um, the attack that he did that did like the four waves that got bigger each time. So that's pretty cool. Not going to be using either of those. Because I'm not an intelligence character, and I don't really see myself getting rid of wild strikes. So, I'll go and pop that later. Not right now, since we're nowhere near enough for the, uh, the level up. But, uh, I think I'm going to go and call it here. Uh, if you stumbled across this video and watched the end, I just want to say I genuinely appreciate that. You know, I just want to make content for people to enjoy while giving myself a little hobby on the side. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Hey there, if you're enjoying my content, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share it around with your friends. And if you want more, check back Monday through Friday, and I will continue to, hopefully, upload on those days. See you next time. Bye for now.